Hi guys, Mrs. Vance here. Okay, we are going to be drawing ourselves catching a snowflake. Mrs. Vance loves snow. Like I absolutely love snow. And um, I would never want to live in an area that didn't have snow at least part of the year. So um, in honor of the snowfall that we get every winter, we are going to draw um, ourselves or a person. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. It can be just a character you create. And we're gonna be looking up in the air trying to catch a snowflake on our tongue. So this is as far as we are gonna get today. And so I'm gonna walk you through that. You need your sketchbook, a pencil. You can have a big giant pencil like mine or just your regular pencil and a magic rub. All right. We're gonna turn to a new fresh page in your sketchbook. My sketchbook has the spine on the left. So I'm in portrait mode, not in landscape mode. Okay, and we wanna make sure that our pencil is sharp and our eraser is ready to go. The first thing we are going to do is draw our head and we're gonna draw our head kind of like a circle slash oval. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what I like to do since this is my sketchbook and we are practicing is I like to draw softly at first and start to circle with my hand and I press a little bit harder as I feel like I'm in a good spot. So notice that when I did this, I moved my whole elbow, okay, like this, okay? I'm not turning my wrist. When you do this with your wrist, you can't really make a perfect circle. When you use your whole arm, you can be more um, almost symmetrical like we learned in our other project, okay? And we can keep it nice and consistent and steady, okay? So notice how much space my head has taken up. I am in the top half of my paper and I still got some space on the right and left and above, but I definitely have more space below. So don't put it right in the middle. We want it up towards the top a little bit and taking up a decent amount of space. If you tend to draw kind of small, we don't want a small, tiny character, right? We want it to fill the space. So use that magic rub if you feel like it's way too small and you need to start again. Okay, make sure you pause the video as you need, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just add our bump for our nose. So I'm gonna erase out a little bit of this mid portion here on the top of the head. And I'm just gonna make a, a bump for our nose. All right, okay. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and add our mouth next. And our mouth is gonna be nice and open. So we're gonna make that oval shape pretty big, but we wanna make sure we still keep some of the side of the face. So making a very similar shape to how we made our head. And then just erasing any extra stray lines as we go. Okay. And then our tongue is just gonna be like a rainbow-like shape, a little bump or a hill right here. Okay. Now the one thing we're gonna do really quick is we're gonna go back to the outside of our head and we are going to add ears. Okay, so we're just gonna add small little bumps because this is technically the bottom of your ear. So remember, we're looking up, so our angle that we would see is very different. And just double check that they are straight across from each other as close as possible. You don't want one ear up here and one ear down there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and erase the connecting line, just like that. And you can leave the line if you want to, but it'll go away once we get to the coloring stage in a couple days. All right, so we've got our head for our person whether it's you or a made up character. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add um, teeth really quick, just because we're in, we're in second grade, we've got teeth. So it's up to you if you wanna have a missing tooth, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a line here and here. So I'm just making a short line here and then I'm making a parallel line. So parallel means it runs the same curvature as, a, as the line that we're referencing. So we're referencing the top of the mouth. So I'm making a parallel curve here. And this is gonna represent my teeth. And then I'm gonna draw lines in there for my teeth. But let's say you're missing a tooth or two or three, you could erase a part so that it looks like you do have a missing tooth in the middle. 
it's totally up to you if you want to do that or not. All right, now we're done with the head and we're going to move on to the scarf area. The scarf, we're going to make two kind of curved lines. Think like parentheses when you read books and stuff. Actually, you know what I noticed? It almost looks like it connects from the tongue. Does that make sense? Almost like I'm making a bigger archway. So I'm almost lining up my scarf with how my tongue lined up. And I didn't even notice that the first time I did this. All right, so I've got two curves here and I'm gonna close it with a subtle smiley face curve. So our scarf is nice and round and soft looking. All right, now from here, we're gonna make the tails of our scarf. We're gonna make one coming down this way and one over this way as if we folded our scarf and kind of tucked it under. And we're gonna make sure that we can see the bottom of the scarf, at least in the front. So I just made a rectangle. That rectangle is a little bit curved. And then I'm gonna make another one over here, but this one I'm gonna have kind of flying out to the side and I'm gonna take it all the way to the edge of my paper as if it's gonna go off the edge of the paper. That way we're filling our whole space. Our composition will be nice and full. All right, we'll talk about decorating our scarf later. We're gonna move on for now. So we've got our head, it's ready to catch the snowflake. We've got our scarf. Now you have to decide, are you wearing a sweater like mine that I'm wearing today with stripes on it? Are you wearing a jacket? If you wanna wear a jacket, you are going to add a zipper down the middle and you're gonna do that by just adding two lines close together from the middle of your scarf all the way down like this. And then you're gonna add some letter Vs to show that our zipper has, you know, those two sides that come together. Okay, so that's our zipper. If you don't want to do a zipper and you would rather do a sweater, we don't need it at all right now. So you can skip that step because we have to wait till we have shoulders. Okay, so if you want a zipper, you can put it in. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go from the edge of our scarf here and we're going to kind of round out to the sides of our paper from here. And from here and this is why it's important that your head's not super small because we want to bring our jacket all the way out to the edge and if our head is too small it's going to look like our jacket's ginormous compared to our head all right so i took two lines out to the side here and then i'm going to add some for my arms so i'm going to kind of find where that scarf spot is and i'm going to kind of come down from there and make a soft curve so it's like a, a line but it's got a little bit of curvature inward this way and this is going to line up my arms and then mine over here kind of gets covered by my scarf a little bit. But it still would sneak in on the outside over there. So at least I have spots for my arms. And now if you wanted to do a sweater, you could decide on, okay, I want to add stripes. So I could add some rounded stripes across my person. And then these could be colored different colors later. So it's up to you if you want to do a zipper and then you can put in the arms for a coat. And if you wanted to, you really could add the zipper back in here on top and have a striped coat. So you have lots of options. So get creative, do what you want to do. If you want to draw polka dots instead of stripes, that's fine. The only requirement is that you have to have two shoulders and you have to have two lines here to show your arms. So go ahead and pause the video and decorate your coat however you'd like. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna decorate our scarf. So I like the idea of um, stripes, but if I do stripes on stripes on stripes, it might look a little crazy. So I'm gonna actually do polka dots in this scarf. I think my other example had stripes, but that's okay. And I'm having some of those polka, polka dots aren't full polka dots, because I wanna make sure it looks realistic, like those polka dots would go, be tucked under and around. And then those polka dots have to continue down here and down here. You can put polka dots, you could do stripes, you could make plaid by doing stripes that crisscross. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some 
tassels to the bottom of my scarf here. It wouldn't show over here because it goes off the edge of the page. So just this piece right here. All right, so I have decorated my character, my person. The only thing that's left is hair. Now you have two options for hair. Let me explain both and then you can choose. You can go ahead and let's say you are have long hair and your long hair flows down the back. You would just go from about your ear, the bottom of that ear, and you would make a wavy or a straight line just down and it would go, it would go behind your jacket or your sweater. So your hair falls down the back. Okay, remember that we wouldn't have any hair up here because this is our nose. We're tilted back, right? So we wouldn't see our forehead and that's why our hair is only down here. So this is option one and you could do it straight or wavy. I chose to do mine a little wavy. Or you could have had kind of crazy hair and you could do multiple pieces like this and have them kind of going out from the side. But still, we would only have the hair down here. We wouldn't have it way up here. That doesn't make any sense for the perspective, the angle that we are drawing at. So no hair up here. We're actually gonna leave space up here because we will eventually add some snowflakes. So you decide what kind of character you wanna draw. And I'll show you both of mine. Here, I'll whoop, rip it out side by side. There we go. So I've got my striped scarf and my jacket with my zipper and more straight hair here with regular teeth. This one, I took a tooth out. I have more wavy hair. I did polka dots and a striped sweater. So think of the ideas that you want to do. We're doing pencil only, no color, and we're only working in our sketchbook today. All right. Have fun, guys. Enjoy.